Hi, I'm Dustin, and I'm going to give you a peek at how we recreated the Iron Man 3 trailer shot for shot. Without the use of visual effects, everything you see was created entirely in camera. So the first step is really just breaking down the entire trailer shot for shot and figuring out how to do each one. And then we make a big list of all the stuff we got to buy, costumes, toys, what we're going to build out of cardboard, everything. So there's a total of 67 shots in this trailer. That's almost 67 entirely new setups. You get every detail perfect and then it ends up being half a second or one second on screen. So we knew we had to build the Iron Man suit. Um, normally, I but don't think I would put so much detail into this homemade kind of suit, but we knew that the suit was in most of the trailer, and there's some really specific shots too, like when he takes the mask off, so like we have to do that. So yeah, we got pretty detailed with the spray paint and the cutting, but it's all made of cardboard, and then it just ties on, you know, strings in the back, and we wore a red shirt underneath. I'm gonna be wearing the Star Trek uniform underneath as the base of the Iron Man costume. Ah, when worlds collide. The Iron Man costume needed to light up too. So we've got um, the tap lights, cut a hole and taped it into the back. And then for the eyes, we found these little LED keychains. I just managed to tape those just in the right spot. And then the hands too, we've got little LEDs that we just cut a hole in the gloves and we just pop that in there. Yeah, a lot of LEDs went into that costume and they're just either hot glued in or taped in. We did a cool trick with the glove when it's kind of not the glove yet. I don't know what it is, it's like an orb. And we tied it to a string and kind of made a pulley. So I'm standing there and then John pulls the string one way, which goes around the pulley and then pulls the orb the other way towards me. <laughs> Done. The next shot when the glove goes onto my hand, we shot that in reverse and I actually just stood there and then John yanked on the string and it flew right off my hand. So we ended up doing a lot of forced perspective on this, which is basically when you put something close to the camera and pretend that it's further. They look like they're in the background, but they're actually in the foreground, so if you go behind it, it doesn't quite work. We also did a funny forced perspective shot where it's supposed to be like a kid and an adult walking in some alley, but we lined it up in such a way that I was the kid and I was further from the camera and then John was closer to the camera and standing on like a piano bench to get the framing just right and it makes me just look kind of tiny. So we knew that for the mansion destruction we were going to just go ahead and build the whole thing out of cardboard so we just went for it. Built that whole thing in my dining room, hot glued it together, used uh, two paper plates for the main building in the mansion and then to destroy it we just ripped up a lot of cardboard, confetti. For the water splashing, we just got some confetti and cut up some blue streamers and we would set kind of a booby trap under the wave a little bit, on like a lever, so that as the mansion fell into it, we could just bam, just smack it and the blue confetti would kind of go up and create the water splash. So there's a lot of timing that you gotta work out on all these shots. Here comes a missile, then dump the debris, and then the mansion falls. Made quite a mess and ran through it several times until we felt like we nailed it. Some of the miniatures that we used were the little helicopters, those are some cool shots. One shot in particular where the helicopters move with the camera in a certain way and it's when the missiles come down out of the door. So we just built a little tiny missiles out of paper and cut a hole in the side of the helicopter so we could actually push a, a little stick on a lever that opens the door right into the frame like that as the whole unit with the helicopters and the camera are sliding along the ground towards the mansion. So there's a brief plane crash sequence. Well, it doesn't even crash, it's just people fly out of it, so obviously we're going to miniatures again, um, getting little guys on the little strings, and we just made a, you know, the exterior of the plane. We didn't even really make a plane, it's just a tube with a hole in it, and then the blue sheet for the sky, and just matched all those shots one by one. And then there's the interior shot where we just cut open one side, put some seats in it, and had the little action figure fall out. So you don't know it yet, but you're gonna go out this door. So one thing that I discovered while shooting some of the miniatures is that the iPhone has a really great close-up range. So all the miniature stuff we end up just using with the iPhone because you can tap on it and it focuses super close. There's just no way I can get that close with my lens because I don't have a fancy macro lens. There's a big underwater sequence in this trailer. You know, we did a, some underwater stuff on the Man of Steel trailer and it was a very frigid day and we did not have a pleasant experience going in the pool for that. Also didn't want to ruin the cardboard Iron Man costume. So I came up with the idea to shoot it all just in the living room but just fill the room with smoke 
and just make it look murky and then I can tint it blue and we'll just it'll end up looking sort of underwater but more importantly we're matching all the shots there are a lot of explosions and fire in this one too it's just tiny little things on fire like the missiles we just light a little end of a stick on fire for some of the bigger explosions like when all the gallery of different suits explode I just obviously drew those and then you know you light a fire under it Now how do we get this done? I don't know. Okay. Done. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So let me know if you have any more questions in the comments and I'll try and answer back. And uh, let us know what movie you want us to do next. Be sure and subscribe because we've got new episodes every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.